Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the beta channel. And that's build 22635.2419 with the update KB5031463. And as you have noticed, there's only one build this week in the beta channel where previously we had two builds rolling out. And um, this is a change now that Microsoft is implementing in the beta channel. I'm kind of taking on the shape and form of how things are happening now in the stable version when it comes to uh, the build number. Microsoft says regarding this change, um, they will no longer have a build number split and everyone in the beta channel will now be on the same build. Uh, instead, uh, Microsoft says they will be enabling new features using the controlled feature rollout technology CFR or as I just call it, a controlled rollout. Now they carry on to say that um, this week's build number as mentioned is 0.2419, that's the revision number, which will be increment, incremented with each weekly update. So as an example, this week as mentioned 0.2419 and um, this is what will increment with future flights. So very similar to um, what's happening in the stable version with one uh, build and that point release will be incremented with each update rolling out weekly to the beta channel. Now, Microsoft says how this change is going to affect you is that for Windows insiders in the beta channel, and if we just head over to our Windows update page quickly, if you want to be the first to get features gradually rolled out to you, you can turn on the toggle, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. So as mentioned, the same happens in the stable version. And should you keep this toggle off, New features will gradually be rolled out to your device over time once they are ready. So um, if you have that on in the beta channel, uh, you will be the first to get features gradually rolled out to you. And if you have that off, um, new features will be gradually rolled out to your device over time when they are ready. So very similar to what's happening in the stable version. Now also happening in the beta channel, which I actually think is a nice move. And then as you can see on my desktop, and I posted on this in the previous video, um, to celebrate the ninth year anniversary of the Windows Insider program this month, Microsoft are releasing two new special desktop backgrounds for you to download. And I'll leave that video I did post on those wallpapers um, down below uh, in the description if you would be interested. And um, just on a side note, this is the anniversary logo for the Windows Insider program nine year anniversary and this is the new badge that Microsoft has made available. Now new features that are gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel for this week include um, Windows Inc improvements. So if we head to that and you've seen this before um, on the channel and Microsoft says uh, in a previous uh, beta channel board the new Windows Inc experience allowed you to ink directly onto edit fields and this was disabled in the beta channel to allow for additional bug fixes. And then um, with this update this week to the beta channel, they are re-enabling this feature with an update that includes a number of fixes. And just take note though that this uh, Windows Inc. only supports English in US currently. So just take note of that. And then the changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel. And... Uh, um, for this week, the Copilot in Windows now shows the new icon on the taskbar. So exactly how it is uh, in the stable version. That's the new icon for Copilot um, in the taskbar. And then we get a couple of fixes. There's three fixes that have rolled out for everyone in the beta channel. And then we also get a Microsoft Store update, which has been made available in other preview builds where there's a visual refresh of Windows license pages where um, Microsoft have improved the look and feel of Windows license pages in the Microsoft Store to be consistent to match the look and feel of Windows 11. And that's the key highlights that have been made available with this week's um, new uh, beta channel build 22635.2419. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.